There is a man named Nero Alexander sitting in a chair on his phone, barely watching a girl who is fighting with another girl. He tells her that she must fulfill her obligations. So she picks up a knife and finishes killing the girl. She goes on to present her victory on a tray to Nero. She is given a case of cash and taken away crying. Nero looks at a page on his phone of people who failed at becoming a celebrity. Casper wakes under a blue light. There is an envelope next to him, welcoming him to Fergus's house of fun. He is a reality show star, but is tired of the genre. Despite his reticence, he has agreed to be part of the show. He walks through the house and glimpses other rooms that other contestants have clearly come from. The other contestants are in the common room. They are all reality show stars and social media personalities. They have no phones and don't remember how they all got there. The television goes on and they learn that their every move is being streamed 24 seven worldwide. There are eight of them in total. Ula, Headstone, Kat Zim, Dex, Lonnie, Nevin, Zamina, and Casper. Fergus is a cartoon panda who explains the rules. The audience will vote every day on who stays and who goes. The player that garners the least votes must perform a skill challenge. If there's less than 1% of the vote between them, then they will compete to see who survives. That's how the two girls at the opening fight for their survival. They are instructed to stay within the confines of the house at all times. Their modesty in the bathroom will be spared by blurring, but they can choose to switch this facility off. They must also enter the confession booth for at least five minutes every day to talk about whatever they want. A man appears in a panda mask. It explains that these people are there to help, but they may not speak to the players. The game begins and it's revealed that the top prize is $5 million. It is the first elimination night and they are addressed by Fergus. Ula has taken the lead, mainly due to removing the blur as she showers. Lonnie and Nevin have the least number of votes and must complete a challenge. They are instructed to follow the helper as the others go to the witnessing room. They can see Lonnie in a dark room. A pinata descends and it is explained that they need to break open the pinata in the shortest amount of time. Lonnie is blindfolded, but then the pinata is replaced with Nevin and Lonnie is given a baseball bat. She unknowingly proceeds to beat Nevin nonstop, killing him. The audience doesn't believe that it's real. Eventually, Lonnie is told to remove her blindfold and she realizes what she's done. Nero reveals himself and explains that they must continue with the game and if they refuse, then a fate worse than Nevin's awaits them. They must win the hearts and votes of the audience in order to win and get out alive. Dex thinks that he can see an escape route and attempts to break out. The helpers enter and he's removed from the house. He is then suspended in a vat of acid, which horrifically dissolves everything. News outlets still doubt the truth of the footage. Casper's ex-wife Darla is interviewed on TV and appeals for the contestants to be set free. She also tells those that are streaming the show to stop watching as this makes them all responsible for the deaths. The contestants try to behave normally. Casper tells the others how he met Darla fell in love with her, and got married in quick succession. Everyone is having a nice time, but Ula starts to complain, and Zymina criticizes her attitude. Suddenly, they're interrupted by Fergus, who's there to announce the voting results. He also informs them that Dex's death has resulted in a five times increase in viewership. This time, Kat Zim is the leader of the vote. Ula and Zymina have tied for last place. They scream at each other, but learn that they will play a game called Blind Rage. The two girls are each given an ax and must fight until one of them is rejected. The game commences and the lights are switched off. The spectators are still able to watch as the cameras are turned to night vision. Zymina swings her ax ferociously and it appears that she will win, but Ula manages to strike Zamina and kills her instantly. The lights come back on and Ula faints when she sees what she's done. As the game continues, Ula tries to use her natural assets to secure more votes. The news channels explain why the authorities are unable to shut down the website. One night, Casper is woken by Headstone, who's fallen down drunk. He goes to check but also finds Ula drinking, so he puts her to bed. She tries to seduce him to secure more votes, but he refuses. Headstone walks in and attacks Casper, but he's pulled off by Lonnie. The next morning, the votes are announced. Casper has won but Ula is in last place. Fergus plays the footage of the previous night's events so that Headstone can see what actually happened. 
he apologizes for his behavior. This time, Ula must play a card game, Forget Me Not. If she succeeds within two minutes, then she will automatically proceed to the next round. The game begins, but Ula is unable to complete it within the allotted time. She is then made to spin the Wheel of Fun to determine her fate. It lands on the rack. Ula tries to fight her way out, even managing to kill one of the helpers, but she's ultimately knocked out. Ula is tied to the rack, and as the others watch, she's eventually killed. After the execution, a box is delivered to the contestants. Inside, there's an envelope for each of them, containing a photograph of their loved ones. Fergus explains that there's no picture of Casper's parents, as they died in a car crash when he was young. He survived to become the husband of a celebrity. He tells them that he hopes that this has brought some solace into their otherwise wasted lives. Casper returns to his room, where he's later comforted by Lonnie. Next time the results come in, Casper is still winning and Headstone is in last place. His challenge is announced to be Deathmatch, where he must fight someone to the death. The votes are open to the public who can choose his opponent. One hour later, Headstone learns that he must fight Botis. The players share a drink before he steps out to the fight. Headstone defeats Botis, but then learns that he must now fight the other opponents. Together, they finish him off. That night, Casper is sitting and thinking. Fergus speaks with him and accuses him of being a product of this new wave of entertainment, and his death will be a part of it. Those who watch this show will still go to bed the same as always, and wake up the next day and go about their lives as though he never existed at all, until the next new thing comes along. Afterwards, Casper and Lonnie speak. He tells her that he's glad to have met her there. They give in to temptation and go away together to have fun. At the same time, Kat Zim is having fun on her own. Both events are being broadcast to the worldwide audience. The results come in. Casper is still in the lead, but the person in last place is Kat Zim. Her challenge is Chess Master. Meanwhile, the FBI manages to track the source of the broadcast to Oklahoma. Kat Zim plays chess against Nero, and despite her being a grandmaster, he still manages to defeat her. Kat Zim is made to spin the wheel to determine her fate, and it lands on past the buck. This means that a new challenge will be passed on to Lonnie. Casper tries to take her place despite Lonnie's objection. Nero ultimately agrees to this. Casper's challenge is pistols at dawn. His opponent is decided to be Lonnie. Casper is furious with the deception. They are both given pistols and instructed to stand back to back. They take 10 paces forward, turn, and point their pistols at each other. In Oklahoma, the FBI open a hatch and discover a box inside with the severed parts of each of the contestants, as well as an explosion device. The FBI SWAT team scatters before it explodes. Casper and Lonnie point their pistols at each other, and gunshots are then heard. With tears in his eyes, Nero declares Kat Zim to be the winner. The helpers applaud as Casper and Lonnie lie dead on the floor. Kat exits the house with her prize money. She's picked up by a motorist and taken to the police station, but is later released. It is reported that what the FBI thought to be the explosive device was in fact a decoy server. There are still no suspects in the case. On a chat show, tech giant Nero Alexander is interviewed. He made his billions from nothing and claims that there are too many people out there who want money for nothing. It is the scientist, the physicist, the engineer, and the inventor who are the real role models of the world, not the reality TV show personalities or the social media stars. He suggests that people get out there and contribute to humanity like he did. Later, Nero meets with Kat Zim. They kiss, and he asks if she had fun, implying that she was complicit in the whole scheme. She says yes, but next time, she won't let him win at chess. They both turn and look down at the camera. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching!